Let's play around with a little sound design using smart controls. What I have here is an ES2 and an EXS24, a couple of those. And then I have an EXS24 at the end that's kind of special. I'll explain what's going on there in a second. I have a line playing on this first one. And I've created aliases that are referencing this original region. So if I go to solo this channel strip, I'm getting this sound, which is essentially an old Merlin game from like the late 70s that I sampled and put into an EXS24. Down here we have, it's kind of a bell tone that's been created out of acetylene tanks hit with rubber mallets. And then finally, so this track is actually an artist that I work with named Metal Mother. And what I've done is I've cut her voice up, put it into an EXS24, and then using a pitch correction plugin that's set pretty draconianly, if that's a word, I've sort of fixed the scale to her voice. So I'm getting all these clips, and it's going through pitch correction, channel EQ, and compression, and delay. And what we end up with is this kind of cool effect. So altogether, it sounds like... In Logic, we use something called track stacks when we want to take a complex patch like this and have it all on one channel strip. So I'm going to get rid of these aliases, choose all of these tracks, which we can now do in Logic 10. It's a great thing. And I'm going to create a track stack. This is called the summing stack. So essentially, it's going to take all of the instruments. It's going to place them into a single track and it's going to apply their outputs to a auxiliary. So I hit create. And now when we're using smart controls, we've got access to the track stack smart control, which is essentially controls. Right now it's set to control the plugins that are on the auxiliary itself. Then I have the individual instruments. I'm going to take the MIDI region and drag it up to the track stack so that all of these instruments will now play at the same time. So that's really cool because I can collapse this and all of those different instruments and the associated auxiliary are located in the same track stack. That's very, very handy.